The Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs will take urgent and new actions to manage the surge of COVID-19 cases in St. Lucia. This Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs received notification from the Caribbean Public Health Agency of six new cases of variants of concern. I have been advised that three of them are of the Alpha variant and three are of the Delta variant. These are the first three cases of the Delta variant which have been diagnosed in St. Lucia. Of the six confirmed cases of the variants of concern, two of them are visitors from the United States of America, three of the four local cases are from the south of the island, and only one of the six cases is fully vaccinated. They are all in a stable condition. The presence of the Delta variant in St. Lucia is of great concern to the government and the health authorities here in St. Lucia. The Delta variant is known to be more contagious with a much higher viral load, up to 80% more transmissible than the regular strain. It is also known to affect a younger population without underlying health conditions. It causes more severe illness and hospitalization and deaths. Typically, a small percentage of vaccinated people may get COVID-19, but they are either asymptomatic or have very mild symptoms if they contract the Delta variant. I am advised that unvaccinated people remain of greatest concern due to their reduced capacity to fight this virus. The effects are more severe. Based on the, on the confirmation of the Delta variant in St. Lucia, it is even more important that all recommended public health measures are taken to protect our health and well-being. The St. Lucian public and visitors are urged to get vaccinated at the soonest. The vaccines are available free of charge on a daily basis. Although we do not mandate vaccination, we encourage the public to follow the science and get the vaccine to keep themselves and family safe. The government of St. Lucia is committed to ensuring that all measures to strengthen the present system are in place. We have requested and received the vaccination plan to increase the uptake of the vaccine in communities. We are in the process of increasing the testing capacity. We will be receiving the Pfizer vaccine on Tuesday of next week to widen the options for vaccines and we'll continue working to increase that range of, to increase the range of available vaccines. The electronic vaccine passport will be available to the public from August 23rd, 2021, I'm advised. We are also in discussions with a service provider to ensure that conditions at the Victoria Respiratory Hospital are improved. At this stage in the, epi in the epidemic, we urge the public to adhere to the new protocols which are in place. It is imperative that we take all the necessary precautions and it is imperative that we act urgently to fight the infection, to prevent the infection and to adopt the control measures which will reduce transmission to ourselves and our families at this time. We know that conditions at the Victoria Respiratory Hospital need urgent improvement and we are in discussions to ensure that we add personnel to the Victoria Hospital, to the Victoria Respiratory Hospital to ease the pressure that the medical staff and others face at this time. I will announce additional actions and additional measures after the Cabinet meets on the 16th of August 2021. At this time, as Minister with Responsibility for Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, I urge everyone to take action now. I urge everyone to take action now. The government will assist you, the government will assist the institutions, and we will cause new actions to take place. I thank you very much.